Are you on your agenda? Recognize the pain occasioned by the increase in home price of petroleum products. Therefore, in the discharge of his avoid duty of championing the cause of the downtrodden in matters that affect the life, occasioned the Organize a two-day policy dialogue that, among other things, one is to appraise the subsidy regime in the procurement and sales of petroleum products, take stock of the pros and cons relating to the removal as at the moment, and then provide recommendations and suggest solutions to ameliorate the current and future situation. Industry experts and public affairs commentators, interest groups and hosts of Nigerians from different walks of life participated and made inputs, comments and suggestions. The dialogue session made the following recommendations and suggestions. That the petroleum being sold at filling stations in the removal of subsidy on 29th May 2023 is of the old stock. Marketers were in unilateral in applying prices ranging from 195 naira to between 488 to 557 per liter to all stock, which is already captured at 200 naira per liter. Medium term framework, MTF of the budget covering January to June 2023 as passed by the National Assembly includes fuel subsidy up to the end of June 2023. That there is a need to know what happens to the subsidies subsisting from May 29th to June 30th, 2023. Four, that since it is clear that subsidy is built into the direct sales, direct purchase, DSDP contract arrangement, it indicates that technically the federal government still pays for foreign subsidy. Five, the that the vulnerable groups in Nigeria feel the impact of subsidy removal more and they should be the first line of consideration in provision of palliatives. Six, that dialogue attendees support the decision of President Tinubu on the removal of subsidy and will do everything possible to help actualize the desire of improved life of the ordinary citizens. The last government said subsidy provided 30th of June but the president took the most strategic of all times an opportunity to say it is gone, and that's what it is. Second of all, we all know the lobby that is involved in things like that. So for him to say what he said at the time, anybody, nobody actually expected him to do, was so brave and so terrible like so we should acknowledge that. Second of all, it has been removed. It's not when they, because people say if and when. There's nothing like that. It has been removed. Yeah. I, I strongly support for subsidy removal. But, like I said, there are certain things that we need to work on. You see, when you talk about the economy of Nigeria, the way the economy behaves affects every policy that government is considering. Now, if we allow the inflation to keep on hitting our economy so much, then we will have a problem. Even as we are talking about the removal of this subsidy, like seven trillion going to subsidy removal. And that's nothing that is coming to Nigerians in terms of development in every other way that we can take up. This thing has been removed long ago. They are just suffering the masses. And let me tell you that the masses, the people who are even enlightened, they are ready for this thing that, that is happening now. That is why they are ready. They have done a very commendable job, well laudable job, that uh, they back the administration of uh, His Excellency Senator Bola Ametinibu for his clamp down on the, the issue of subsidy. The subsidy removal is uh, to be candid a very good step that is taken in order to liberate the masses of this country. And no any other person could have done that more than uh, His Excellency Senator Bola Hamid Tinubu. We have to be patriotic enough to trust the government, considering the fact that um, this government has taken the bull by the horn because it's um, a policy that 
almost every Nigerians and even the three major candidates also uh, advocated. And so I'm still saying that uh, Nigerians need to be more patriotic in order for us to achieve the government and whatever they intend to do, considering the removal of subsidy, which they have, they have stated clearly that the money that should have gone into subsidy uh, will be channeled into a lot of uh, developmental projects that every common Nigeria will benefit from.